you're watching the free version of Silhouette Essentials. For projects and footage, head to BorisFX.com for the premium download. Here we are in Nuke version 14, and now we can bring in our Cryptomat sequence rendered out from our Silhouette Roto project file. I have my source already loaded into Nuke, and I will bring in the Cryptomats. I'm going to press the hotkey R to read them in. The Cryptomat data is not stored in the RGBA layer, but in the dedicated Cryptomat layers. Next, I'll bring in a Nuke Cryptomat node. and hook it up to our Silhouette Cryptomats. And now let's view them in the viewer. So up here in the node properties, you can see that we have the layer selection on Crypto Object, and that means that we are looking at the shapes. I'm gonna switch this to Crypto Asset, and now we are looking at the layers. Our manifest source is set to metadata. In this case, our data is embedded in our EXR sequence. So let's select some layers. So here we want to make sure that picker add is enabled. And now we can control command and select some layers. So you can see over here in the mat list, I have the sky G mat and the building block four selected. If I want to remove a layer from a selection, I click picker remove, hold down control command and remove that from a selection. And you can see now we just have the sky G mat selected. Another way to select is using the marquee. We wanna make sure we are in picker add again, and we'll just clear the list. And I'm gonna hold down control command and shift, and I'm going to just drag a selection over. So it looks like we have a lot of uh, layers selected, and then we can just also clear that as well. So it's really easy to pick and choose layers. And then you can click A in the viewer to see the alpha output of the mats. So let's go back and just select our sky. We'll clear the mat list now or in pick or add, and we'll just control command and click the sky. And then we'll just make a quick adjustment. We'll just bring in a grade node. Hook it up to our source and our cryptomat. We'll look at our source here and then the grade node, and then we'll just make a quick adjustment. And now you can see how you can use CryptoMat to isolate mats for targeted adjustments. The ability to render out CryptoMats from Silhouette gives an artist so much flexibility. Using CryptoMats is such a quick and easy method to break out sections or objects to make the compositing process go much faster.